In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can use ClickBank with ClickFunnels to grow and scale your affiliate marketing business. Let's get started. Hello YouTube, it's Austin and welcome to my channel where I help you find success online. Be sure to like, subscribe and ring the bell to learn different tips and tricks and how to find success and make money online. All right, so this video is actually gonna be composed of two parts. For part number one is me walking you through, telling you how to incorporate ClickFunnels with ClickBank. The second part of this video will actually be me showing you how to do those two things so that you can start making money and scale your business. Quickly, let's talk about what ClickBank is. ClickBank is what I call a clearinghouse for affiliate marketers. Basically, you can go to the website clickbank.com and you can find uh, different products that you can promote, get your uh, hop links, get, view your sales and commission, and basically basically check out different information for products that you want to promote. And then ClickFunnels is a platform that you can use for email marketing. You can use it for a few different things, but in this video, I'm going to use it primarily for email marketing. In addition to email marketing, you, you can create landing pages, you can add your, your lead funnels, you can add a thank you page, um, and you can add a email marketing campaign. So that's basically what ClickFunnels and ClickBank are. So let's talk about step by step how you can start making money and scale your business. First things first, we would take a look at ClickBank. As I mentioned, you're going to go to ClickBank to find products to promote. The biggest niches are health, wealth, relationships, and technology. Any niche can work, but just know that going into it when you're starting off with affiliate marketing or regardless of where you are with affiliate marketing, the biggest niches are health, wealth, relationships, and technology. So you're going to pick a niche. There are a number of different different niches in ClickBank. So just find one that is uh, applicable to you and we can move on to step two. Step two is to create content. The, the content can be YouTube videos, can be blogging, can be social media, whatever it is, the type of content that, that you're creating doesn't matter for the purposes of this video. Just know that you need to create some sort of content. It can be response posts, it can be whatever. The most critical part of the create content is that you need to add a call to action. Basically, you need to uh, generate a reason why a your customer or your viewer needs to click on the link. So you need to say, click the link in the description to learn more. Or uh, if you want to lose 10 pounds in eight days, click the link in the description. You need to create some sort of call to action to get your buyer, your customer to take the action and click the link. So that's step number two is create content. Step three is to log into your ClickBank account to find a product that you want to promote. If you haven't already done so, create a free ClickBank account and then head on over to the marketplace. Once you're in the marketplace, you should see something very similar to what I'm looking at right now. On the left hand side, you'll have the categories. Categories is also your niche. So you're going to want to find something related to your niche in the category section. Uh, so if we scroll down here, I'm actually going to look for e-business and marketing. If you see there's a little triangle there, that's a drop down menu. Click that and you'll get more options. So I'm going to click on the first thing, which is affiliate marketing. And now that I'm in affiliate marketing, these are the different products that you can promote. If you just look at this screen, you see a number of pieces of information. You see the name of the product that you can promote in red, a little bit of information, uh, the affiliate page, which you want to take note of, um, the stats for you and for the, the, the product that you're promoting, the average sales page or the, the average um, the average dollar amount per sale. This number can be a little bit misleading because this number also inc incorporates up sales uh, and not necessarily the amount that you'll get on the first page. And then you the red promote button, which we'll talk about in just a moment. What I'm going to do and what I urge you to do is, first thing you should do is sort by gravity. Gravity is the uh, number of sales over a given period of time. So basically what that means to you is the higher the gravity, the more sales that this product has sold over a period of time. Most people will tell you to pick the first three. I want you to scroll down and look for something that's maybe towards the bottom because it has a high gravity. It's just not at the top three. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to look at, um, let's take a look at the brand new CB passive income. We're going to click this link and this is basically the sales page that your customers would see if it loads. Okay, so it looks like it has a little bit of information here, which is good. Um, spend some time going through and make sure that you're comfortable with this product that you want to promote. The reason why you want to make sure that you're comfortable with the product is because if customers buy the product, they feel like they're buying it from you. Um, you are the face of the, the company, the face of the organization, even though you're just the affiliate marketer, people are turning to you to, to solve their problem, to resolve their concern. So make sure that you're 100% comfortable with this product, because if you, if it's scammy, if it's spammy, 
if you if it gives you a bad feeling or bad impression, it's most certainly going to give your consumers, your customers that same feeling. And so you don't want to do that because you are building a brand. So the next thing I want to do is I want to click on the affiliate page. This is going to give you a little bit of the background information, the pertinent information that you want to know and have an idea of before you start promoting a product. So these are all this is all the little, this is all of the information that you want to know. Uh, things that I'm looking for, I'm looking for like email swipes because um, that gives me an idea of how dedicated this uh, the seller is to promote the product, how much time, energy, and effort that they put into it. Um, just different things and different incentives. And again, the feeling of the product. So you can just take a look through here. I personally would like to see something that has uh, maybe a link to, to email swipes or images or something along those lines, just so that I could feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, I don't necessarily use the email swipes or anything like that, but I just like to see that they have taken the time and the initiative because they've thought about the business aspect of making money. Uh, so if we go back here, let's say we're comfortable with this product. What we would do is, um, again, we find it, we've looked at that, we've looked at that. Uh, we're going to click promote. Now what most people will do here is they'll just click generate hop link. But what I recommend is add a tracking ID. The tracking ID should be based on where you're planning on promoting. As you can see here, I have Facebook and I have YouTube. If I was going to promote this product on YouTube, I'd add a YouTube tracking ID so that when I go over to the dashboard, I can see which campaigns are successful and which aren't. So once I once that I've done that, I'm just going to click generate hop link. And it gives me this hop link down here. As you can see, the ID is YouTube. If I wanted to, I could do Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and so on. Um, I'm just going to leave this page open because I'm going to jump over to uh, I'm going to jump over to ClickFunnels and start building a funnel, which is the second part of this, uh, so that I can incorporate the two. All right. So before I get into ClickFunnels and and create that funnel, I do want to let you know that there is a link in the description to a two week free trial. So if you do not already have ClickFunnels set up, definitely click that link to a two week free trial so you can get started and get familiar with ClickFunnels. In addition, in addition to email marketing, it just does so many other things that you may find it very useful in your making money online or growing an online business uh, for yourself. So so take a look at that two week free trial. Uh, what we're going to do here when, once we get to uh, ClickFunnels is we're going to create a email list. We're going to create a landing page. We're going to create a thank you page. And then I'm going to show you how to start building a sales funnel so that you can start making money online. We are here at the uh, funnel portion of ClickFunnels. This is the back end. Uh, this is basically what it would look like. What you want to do is you want to hover over uh, click funnels, go down to funnels, and you'll you'll be where I am. The next step is to add new. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new funnel, and then I want to collect emails, and then I'm going to give it a funnel name. I'm going to say uh, CB, oops, not CBS, CB2, and then I'm going to call this CB2. All right, and so I'm going to click build funnel. All right, so the cool thing with click funnels is it gives you a number of templates to build off of. And what we're going to do just for the sake of time is I'm going to just click this first one here and I'm going to use this template. Now, as you can see on the left hand side, it has already an opt in page and a thank you page. And so we're just going to modify it so that we can use it for growing our ClickBank business. What I want to do is I want to jump back over to the marketplace. And one thing that you want to absolutely do is you want to create congruency between your landing page and your sales page. So basically what congruency is, is make everything look very similar so that it, it, it seems to the customer that it's the next logical step. You don't wanna, for example, you don't wanna have a bright red landing page and then a green and blue sales page because customers may think that they are on a different website or, or you know they're being scammed or, or they may get he different hesitation when it comes to um, purchasing the product. So basically, as we can see, the colors are blue, white, black, and a little bit of orange. And so that's basically what we're going to do to create our, our landing page. So if we jump back over to ClickFunnels, and we're gonna click on Edit Page. And once I'm here, um, I, I will just do a few different things to edit the page. 
And what we're going to do is we're just going to jump back and forth. So I hopefully I don't make you sick or anything like that. But um, so I'm going to click the widget over here on the left hand side, right hand side, excuse me. And I'm going to change the background color to white. And one of the great things about ClickBank is it's all drag and drop point and click. It's a very simple. Um, what I'm going to do here is I am going to jump back and forth over to this and see. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy free online workshop today and go back over here and I'm going to say, uh, let's say enter your email. Enter your email to join a free online workshop today. And then I'm just going to get rid of this. I can go back up here to the widget again, and I'm going to change this to black. Uh, let's see, text color black. And then I'm going to change this. Um, I'll say get started today. But again, what you would want to do, whoops, what you'd want to do is you want to make this congruent with this over here. We could just copy this over, copy. And as an affiliate marketer, it is paramount that you start collecting email addresses. The only way to really scale your business and take it to the next level is to is with email marketing. Um, that is the primary difference between an affiliate marketer that's successful and someone that struggles to make consistent money online. Uh, what I want to do is click that and then we'll say we'll change this back to black and then see how he helped. We'll say see how he helped. And then if we wanted to, we can go back to the widget and we can change the bold color. Let's say the color I believe was orange, but let's just change that to red for now. Why didn't that work? I'll go here, we'll click that. And then as you can see, and then if we just jump back here, uh, logo, let's change that to orange. So I want this to be congruent. The color orange doesn't really matter, but um, we want to make everything look, look the same. Um, right, for ease of use, I'm just gonna use red because it's already there. Uh, bold color red. All right. Um, the other thing I need to do is we can make, we can make the font size bigger. And I also want to add in a, I want to add in an email address, an email form. So if we do this input and then if we want we can move change that to email enter email address required blah 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 all right so we can move that up one and let's change the font size into your email address and then what i like to do is i like to make this very basic. Um, I don't like to have a lot of stuff on the landing page just because the more that's on the landing page, the more opportunity for people to forget what they're doing, get cold feet, uh, whatever, whatever it may be. So if we take away a lot of the distractions, it can help, it can help them focus on what's most important. And that is clicking on the link and entering their email address. And so now that we have done that, what we're going to do is we, we have to do a few more steps, but uh, this is a good start. I'm going to click save. Then I'm going to click exit. 
And the next step that I need to take is I need to create an email list. Uh, we'll say email lists. I'm going to do add new. We'll call this, we'll say CB2. CB2. Create list. All right, now that I've created that, I'm going to jump back over to my funnels. Go back to my CB2. And I'm going to go back to my landing page here. And if we go over to settings and we go to integrations, select integration, I'm going to integrate it with my click funnels, add to list, select list, and then CB2. So basically with the integration, I am adding it so that when someone enters in their email address and clicks get early access or, you know, get access, whatever it is, the email address gets added to my mailing list and then that can start my sales funnel. Uh, that's how easy it really is. You can get as creative or as cute as you want to. I recommend keeping it very plain and very basic just so that just so that your customers don't get distracted or confused. If you want, you can add a pop-up. Uh, what you should do is also is add metadata here. The reason why you want to add metadata is because it can show up in search results. And so I'm just going to throw that in there. Click Save again. Uh, settings, metadata, and tracking code if you want. Not going to worry about that background, all of that stuff. Um, I'm Click Preview. And this is basically what your customers will see now obviously we can get rid of this city scene down here but this is basically the not the hardest part but but this is the the, the first step in integrating your click funnels and your click bank so now that we have done that let's run over to settings uh, cb2 is the name it's a group tag we just want to add our domain uh, and then i'm going to scroll down because just click save there. Ask me later. Click save. All right. And let's make sure our settings are good. Just check that. CB2 domain, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's go back to steps. And we're going to go to automation. We don't really need to do anything here. Publishing. Don't need to do anything there. So if we go back to opt-in, the next step we go to is thank you page. All right. And so the thank you page is where the customer will go to after they enter in their email address. Now, what I like to do is I like to add a, a button to get the lead magnet that I've enticed them with. Um, if it's an affiliate product, put a link there. Um, or you could skip the thank you page entirely, and when they click the button, it could direct them to go to whatever page that you want them to. But this is a better way, in my opinion. Uh, either have a video of myself or like a webinar or whatever it may be. Um, but I'm just going to show you what you could do in order to keep the customer on the hook. On the hook sounds bad, but um, that's what you want. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say thank you for subscribing or something like that. Uh, please follow 15 minutes. And then here you can add in a YouTube video that will start playing. Let me grab a video here real quick. All right, so I grab that. I'm just gonna paste that in here. Leave all of that off. I'm gonna click save. And then again, you wanna make sure that everything is congruent. So if we go here, click this widget, and I want this to be black. We'll make this blue. And then we can make this look red. And 
and we change the text size here if we want. Then we'll change that to white. And then if we click save, we click preview, see what we get. All right, so it looks like it worked perfectly. Um, and if they click this link, it would take them to that webinar or the, the sales page that we got. Um, one step that I omitted or skipped is if I right click here, go back to the hop link generator. I'm going to copy this right here and I'm going to put that where it says get instant access. So if I click get instant access, click the widget and then set action. And I want it to go to the URL. So we'll click, whoops, open new page, go to URL. And we'll open that in a new window. Click back. And we can see, actually, why didn't that work? I'll try it again. Set action. All right, so we see that it worked there. Uh, if we click back, click out of there, and we just click save. And we're going to click preview again. Now, if I click this link, it should take me to our landing page based on our hop link. As you can see, it looks like it worked. And then the customer would click register my seat now. Um, so that's basically how you incorporate ClickBank with ClickFunnels. Uh, it can be very easy. There's a few steps that I left out, like getting the domain name with, with, Click, with ClickFunnels. I always get ClickBank, ClickFunnels confused. With ClickFunnels, you can get a free domain name for a year, and you'll need that domain name in order to send out email addresses. Speaking of email addresses, if we go back, um, we could start a new funnel. If we go to follow funnels, we'll go action funnels down here. And then we could do new action funnel. Let's call this CB2 as well. Group tag uh, CB2 lists. If we scroll down CB2. And then select configuration, create funnel. And we want to do add new step. Step zero is I like to send out the lead, lead magnet. So we'll say lead mag. And we'll click create new. Then again, you have a bunch of different templates you can use. I'm just going to click the first one for the purposes. You can add in your, let's go open email editor. You can add your logo here. Uh, you can add an image, obviously, but what I want to do is I'm just going to say, um, here is your free gift. And then you can make this button so that it goes out to get the, the free gift, uh, which is the lead magnet. Now, when you do that, you can actually, if it's a PDF, you can upload the lead magnet right into ClickFunnels. Um, and when they click the button, it'll take them to that PDF and that they can download that. Uh, but that's number one. And then if you want to keep adding more steps, just click add step. We'll say, uh, we'll call this, we'll call this day one, day one, put a one there and then add new step. And you just continue this for as long as you want, which is a, a pretty cool opportunity. Uh, so we'll click use this template and then we'll click open editor and then you want to create an engaging title um, start today we'll say start today live a free tomorrow and then obviously email copy then what you want to do is create a call to action you can say click click here whoops yep click here to learn my secret. Oops. To living free today. So we've done that. Copy that. We can link it out. We go up here. We can do, we'll say, alstingodbolt.com. 
Hit enter. And so if we did, we'll save this and we'll click preview. If we click this, click here to learn my secret to living free today. It should take me to alstongodbolt.com. I don't know that I'd set up everything correctly, so I might get an error instead. Um, again, there's just a few different steps that I have omitted. It's a lot of like backend stuff. Um, if I did those steps, it would probably add another hour to this video. Um, they're real easy steps. It's just stuff that um, isn't necessarily important in a YouTube video. It's more important to understand how to link ClickBank and ClickFunnels. Uh, but that's basically it. You just kind of do this over and over again. We've uh, we found a product to promote on ClickBank. We have created a, a landing page, a thank you page, and even a sales funnel. We've integrated the two so that when someone clicks on your links, they will be taken to the, the, the sales page of your affiliate product. They click that product and you can start making money as long as they buy it. If you want to learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing, click that first link in the description. In addition to learning everything that I know about affiliate marketing, you'll also get a free guide to email marketing. Now, email marketing is pivotal to your success as an affiliate marketer for a number of reasons. Those reasons include you have the ability to retarget customers for multiple products. So let's say they buy this um, affiliate marketing, whatever it was that we clicked on, you can then retarget them for a microphone because if they're planning on doing YouTube videos, they're going to need a top of the line microphone. So you can retarget them for multiple products over and over again. In addition, we know that it takes between five and 12 touch points before a customer becomes a buyer. So uh, email marketing is a great way to follow up with customers and add additional value. And the final way is quite frankly, we don't know that once a customer leaves our YouTube video or our blog, we don't know that they're ever going to come back. So it's a great way to just secure them and continue to add value and follow up and know that you have someone that's interested in the products or your niche that you are, are promoting or, or, or talking about products. So make sure you click that first link in the description to get that free guide to email marketing and to learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.